Hello, and uh, today I am doing an unboxing video of Call of Cthulhu starter set. So uh, what I'll do is, well actually I've already opened it, so it's not really an unboxing, but uh, I'm just going to go through what's inside because I think it's really great. Uh, so I've uh, put together some nifty things because I just don't have room to open it up here. Thank you. So here it is. So uh, there you can see the, the front of the, the box. Um, that's pretty standard. I mean, there's always been with Call of Cthulhu, uh, somebody going upstairs and a tentacle off to the side. So, uh, but, you know, there you go. Um, what I really do like and is there's a, a little table of, of contents which comes with it. Um, I always like that. Probably because I did once get a game. This was when I was like a teenager and there was stuff missing. So uh, I always like when the, it says what's in there. So you just know that what you, you've got. Um, and then you've got the the uh, the three books. Um, as I said, the first one is a we uh, choose your own adventure, which is really interesting. It kind of gets you into the world um, and uh, has some game elements. So you can just buy it you can, on the way home if you're on the train or something. You can just go through that story. Um, the second one, of course, is the the rule book. Um, I've had I haven't had a chance to go through it. Um, I'm wondering if there's been any amendments since the last time I, I played it but just a cursory glance I mean it's got all the the elements there so you can kind of run your own campaign and of course the third book is the the book of uh, scenarios uh, some of them I've, I've, I've recognized from previous uh, game editions but uh, it's got a you know there's uh, there's some nice little handouts and and whatnot so it saves you scanning or photocopying from the book I mean that was one of all oh, the other things which really I really hate is when you get a game book and it says tear the page out I, I really hate doing that so uh, it's nice that they've got their own little um, nicely printed uh, uh, game bits which you know like letters and maps and, and things which you can give to the players um, there you can see is uh, uh, some of them there and then of course is the characters uh, there's five uh, which they've already created a quite r different range of, of characters from you know the kind of Indiana Jones to the sort of um, um, you know uh, archivist uh, historian you know and uh, I think that's good to, to start off with because then you you can kind of explore the kinds of characters and then you can and of course what I also really like is there's lots of blank character sheets and then uh, as you can see, there's the the back of the box, uh, which is uh, which I think is actually uh, quite atmospheric. So uh, all in all, a, a pretty good uh, starter set, I would say. So there you go. That's the contents of the Call of Cthulhu starter set. Um, I think it's really good, uh, and I would give it five out of five. Although I don't really rate things uh, as a habit, but uh, five out of five um because i think it's it's a great start to set it's got everything in it um there isn't any of this kind of teaser element in it where you kind of go oh this is i've got stuff and then it's like well you have to read book two or you please refer to this or you need to download that you know if you you pick this up if you give this as a gift or whatever everything is there and you can start a game you can start a, a scenario you can have a you know invite your friends so uh so it's good um there's also a, a dungeons and dragons starter set as well which is also good um are there some quibbles uh or disappointments um I, i'm loath to say yes uh the first one is that there aren't any dice um yeah th that probably would have pushed the price up but I must admit, I really do like when you get a, a box set. The second thing is the artwork and the general atmosphere of the of the wee books inside. I remember, I think it was either the third or fourth edition of the Call of Cthulhu. Uh, and that was a big, that was a big box of stuff, and. Uh, 
that really set the mood. I mean, it had, of course, that wasn't a starter set, but uh, the the artwork, the drawings, uh, the the little quotes, it was really good at introducing Lovecraft, the Lovecraftian mythos, and of course, Lovecraft as a character. Um, there was a wee biog of him uh, in the book. Uh, there were references to his the stories and. Uh, and also, I think there was one with um, uh, Robert E. Howard as well. Um, and it, it kind of really got you. And you were like, oh, this, is, this isn't this is just standard horror. This isn't standard fantasy or Robert. This is a completely different world where you're basically doomed. I mean, you're, you're up against things which are beyond... I mean, you, do, you don't need me to tell you what Lovecraft is all about. But I mean... I, I got that. Whereas with this, I kind of felt, oh, you know, you're going up against random monsters and you do stuff. And although the artwork is good, and that's why I say I'm, I'm really loath to, to say this is a, a bad thing. But looking at some of the drawings, um, it, it kind of failed to, to I didn't get that, that ooh factor. Um, and one of them, I don't know if I can show that up here. Um, I don't know. It... it they're also obviously supposed to be running away screaming, but it kind of feels a little bit... It, it's not, I don't think, but it kind of feels a bit AI-generated. And some of the pictures are like, oh, okay, you're going to have characters and they're all basically losing their mind. And that's probably really difficult to draw. But with the earlier uh, Call of Cthulhu stuff, it, it got that. Maybe because the quality of the artwork was a bit cruder, so it left more to the imagination which I think is the secret of Call of Cthulhu and, and Lovecraft. Um, so the artwork is, is good of itself, but it just doesn't have that uh, special oomph. Uh, I wish I, I, I don't know what the, the word would be. Looking at some of the scenarios, uh, some of them are, are, are pre appeared in previous editions. Um, and... They were, they, see, they were quite simple and so you were able to use your imagination whereas I find with some of these scenarios they've kind of put a lot of stuff into it but it isn't the horror um, so just looking at it they, there wasn't anything which really kind of grabbed me whereas in, I mean I think they're, they've been game tested and probably with, with a, a variety of different people so you're learning stuff so that is good but when it comes to the the world of Lovecraft, I kind of felt it wasn't. It felt very much like any role playing game, you know. Oh, introduction to the team. Oh, something's happened over there. Oh, there's something a little bit, big. you know. So it's it's step by step. So it's good. So once again, five out of five. But I I did feel it was. It, it, it lacked that uh, special bit, but not so much that I would give it less than 5 out of 5. So there you go. Uh, so that is basically my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what I'll do is um, I'll put some details in the description below, but uh, uh, that's it. Okay, well, thank you very much and goodbye.